Hey YouTube, here's the next set of Bluetooth speakers. Um, what I got going on here, and hopefully it turns out right. Uh, some DMA series, I believe these are DMA 45s, 4 ohm speakers, and they look they look pretty powerful for being, I believe, an inch and a half. I'm going to put them inside of a pelican case. This time the smallest pelican case they got. Which is a pelican 1010. These things are super tiny. I mean. These are going to barely fit on there. And because of the way. Because of how much room there is inside of here. I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to use one of these in there. Um, when I looked it up online, it said that as long as you drilled out this little hole right here, uh, you didn't have to drill out the complete thing. You could just drill out the hole and then glue this to the back panel, which may be the way I go with this one. I'm not sure yet because the lip they have that you can glue it to is so tiny it don't look like uh, it would actually be that easy but on the back side the lips a lot bigger so I may drill out the holes and then set this right inside of there um, this one on the other hand it's got a little bit bigger lip I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these either but it's got a little bit bigger lip. Um, I haven't used this yet. I was going to use them in an earlier project. And I decided against it. As for the amp. I have a set of TP4056's. With Bluetooth. But I might use these. I think they're called Woosh Woosh High. It's a Woos High ZK5502 L. And the only reason why I'm thinking about using these is because these are not much bigger than the other Bluetooth, except these have a power knob on there. Um, the only issue is these are a little bit more powerful these are 50 watts but i believe it said at 12 volts it's 20 uh 20 watts um these dma 45s are 10 watts rms which comes out to about 16 watts and it's 20 watts max non RMS just 20 watts max so I believe 20 and 16 I'm thinking these might do the job at 12 volts and because this is so small 12 volts might be the way to go I've always used these in the past and they tend to only give out the 15 by 15 watts that they're supposed to give out if you get if you give it 21 volts or above so I usually do a 5S battery with them I don't think a 5S battery is going to fit that great in here I uh, it, it might with using these flat um, uh, passive radiators I'm not sure yet so um, I'm going to fill this as I go um, I'll probably end up putting filters on here too like I did on the last one because the filters make kind of bring down the the base kind of puts a little bit more base into the the speaker because they're most speakers this size are kind of high pitched these aren't supposed to be high pitched these are supposed to have some pretty good lows to them because I seen a set of them on YouTube where the guy used 
I think he used four. And uh, man, they sounded awesome. They, he, he was playing some bass music and they sounded really good. But um, again, I'm making two of these. Uh, right now, there's a, looks like a purple inside that, it's just like the other Pelican cases. You gotta cut those out and save the um, gasket. Um, then it'll be clear and it it won't look like that. It'll look different because I took the gasket out of both double check and the gasket the gasket comes right out. But anyways, uh, that's my next project. So um, I guess let's get started and uh, see how I get. I'll probably skip around a lot because there's a lot of stuff that. I mean, it's common sense, drilling two holes, um, connecting wires, I mean, there's a lot of common sense to most of this. Um, I'm only going to have probably a power button to this, and maybe a button, or it'll be a power button and a charging button, and I might throw in a... Um, what are they called I might throw in one of these just to keep track of the voltage um, but that's gonna be about it it's gonna be a pretty basic build again just like the last one this one's a little bit easier um, if I mess up on the holes this will cover it because it's got the square outside to it. The same with the passive radiator. If I mess up on the holes, it looks like it'll cover it as long as I don't go, you know, super big on it. So I'll probably get that going and uh, see how far I get on this. And uh, hopefully it'll sound good whenever it's completed and done I forgot to mention I may do another build off camera I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it on camera or off camera but it's going to be with this tiny case that I think it used to have uh, knives in it um, I found these speakers online and when I bought them from the guy the guy said they're 10 watts um, he said they were 10 watts, they're inch and a half tube. He said that uh, they sounded really good, so he kept them. Um, he said uh, he said he kept them because they sounded good and he got them from some kind of um, uh, big screen TV back in the day. But if they're 10 watts, I'm going to go ahead and probably put four of them on here across with an amp. I've got another one of these Wooshies, but it's a, a bigger one. It's got more knobs. Um, I might build that too, but I'm not too for certain if I'm going to do this one on camera or off camera. But if I do it off camera... I'm still going to show you guys what it sounds like when it's done and I should be able to open it and show you guys how I built it. But uh, I believe that's it for now. Uh, after this I still got two other big, uh, well I have a BMR uh, Bluetooth speaker I'm going to build with the Pelican 1015 or the 10, 1020 case. And then I've got a huge uh, build I'm going to be doing with uh, TP4056 by 2 and it's going to have the 5 and a quarter um, Indies and two of the two and a half and tweeters with passive speakers in the back and that one's going to be booming. But that'll be the last one I do for a while on the on the bluetooth and then i'm going to get to some of the other side projects i got but for now um 
let's get to work I got a lot of work I need to do and I will talk I will see you guys through the video all right so I taped it, these up and then I marked the center line for where I'm going to drill the speakers uh, the back side I'm gonna go ahead and just go with this speaker or this uh, passive radiator I just have to do a square that's something like it's like two and an eighth by inch and three eighths it's a square and even if I mess up you shouldn't be able to see it at all but that I'm gonna do right now so I'll be back after I get everything set and ready to go and then we should be ready for the inside which would be pretty simple because it's powered two speakers and a break in the power line and then I got to build the two batteries that will fit in here with that the speaker and the passive so uh, yeah I'll catch you guys here in a few alright so I got everything put on and put together and drilled out these are a little bit crooked I need to clean these up I'm laying on the table it's airtight And then I cut the outer layer of this so that uh, I could keep the seal. Now the thing I'm having issues with is the battery. I wanted to go with the 4S, but the 4S was too big. But I've been doing a lot of reading on this chip, and apparently a lot of people use 12 volts. They say don't got that good of a base, but the videos I've seen online, the YouTube videos, they uh, sound like it's got pretty decent base. Not to mention with the passive speaker, this should sound a lot better. So right now, I got to figure out how to put, I changed the button to one of these little bitty ones. I got to figure out how to put this in the DC jack to charge the amp and the uh, battery I'm probably going to have to use one of my older uh, 3S older 3S uh, BMS's because a regular size BMS won't fit I won't have enough room but I have these little bitty things right here. They don't balance, but they protect. And I've seen lots of people use those before too, so. I believe we have two different kinds of those, so I'll have to look at that and see which ones I got, but. Uh, I gotta look and see how these go hooked up. But I believe this should fit right on top of there after I put this together. And then this will have a BMS because I really didn't want to build it without a BMS. But So this I'm going to go ahead and uh, weld together. Um, once I weld these together I'm going to start soldering the wires in here so that um, I can put it together and see how it sounds. Uh, on to the next uh, portion of this build.
Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to try to figure out how to fit this in there. But right now, I think I'm looking at this over here on the side, which is the amp connected to the speakers. I'm going to have the battery connector right here. Uh, the BMS right here. It's, it's shorter this distance and this distance. And then somehow over here, I'm going to connect. This little bitty um, plug or this little bitty plug. Well, definitely this power supply. But more than likely, I might try to use this one. <coughs> I'll probably try to use one of these instead because these are way smaller. And what, if they're put in there correctly, they won't fall out or they actually stay just as good as the other ones. But I got to use small ones on there just to have the room so that uh, whenever I have everything connected, I can have a DC jack to charge. And if it needs to be balanced, there'll be a balance cable in here somewhere that'll more likely be closed in and hopefully whoever has this knows how to balance the charge and then that's about what I got going on right now so I'll see you guys back after I get most of that done alright so now that I've got everything situated I uh, put um, all the wires that I plan on using connected to connected them to all the components. I connected the two red and black for the speakers. I got a black wire for the power. The battery I put to I put a BMS on here. Double check the power. The power is running at twelve point six. Then I uh, took these and I soldered a, well actually I glued a piece of a button to the very tip of it so that it would reach and I wouldn't have to dig my finger in there to push the power button on. And then um, the power for, or to charge it, I ran the two uh, wires. More than likely what I'll do with this one is I'll connect this red wire to the power wire and this will go directly to the amp. And then once that goes directly to the amp, all I have to do is connect this black wire to the amp too, or to the, to the battery. Once I do all that, well I gotta first, I gotta fit everything in there. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up connecting everything up and leaving it to where there's only two wires left for the power wire. And then once I once I have that left, I got to I got to fit this in there to where it's not touching the bladder of that one and I'll probably end up I'll probably end up uh hot gluing it to the two speakers something like this and it should keep it out of the way because there was still a little bit of play there but not a bunch but I think if I hot glue it to the speakers it'll be out of the way and then after that we can power her on and see how she sounds I keep uh, watching these and looking at the specs online YouTube channel and stuff like that and they these speakers look like they sound pretty freaking good so hopefully they do we'll find out um the next time i see you guys i should have mainly everything together 
and I'll be latching things up. Uh, if you have any questions, like always, just leave them in the comment section. Um, then after we're done building it, I'll run through a quick uh, diagram of how I threw it together so that, you know, there's some something to go off of. But these are basic. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Speaker, power, Bluetooth. So, all right. I'll see you in the next part. Okay, so we got everything stuffed in there. I double checked the power button. Bluetooth mode. Let me find some uh, non copyright music and we'll test it out real quick. actually feel the bass pounding in that. Let's try this one now. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth device is connected successfully. That's it guys. Alright, so we played this long enough. I did a quick uh, run through of this. Amp, battery, power button, charge, the speakers, and that's all there really is to these. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will check you guys out in my next video. Peace.